Summer is here, and with summer also comes my yearly obsession with the season. The sky, the trees, the clouds, just all of it I can't get enough of. And with this also comes my yearly obsession with Studio Ghibli films. I don't know what it is, I guess Studio Ghibli films in summer just really and truly go hand in hand. And sure, it kind of helps that most of the films are set in summer, but whatever. But time and time again, the studio somehow manages to capture the look of summer so perfectly that I, I love it so much. And on top of that, they also perfectly convey this almost unexplainable magical feeling that puzzles me. I don't know how they do it. Trying to understand this Ghibli secret formula that they've somehow created just baffles me every time. So much so that in the last few weeks I've even picked up painting to try to paint Ghibli inspired scenery because I want to one day also capture that feeling that these films give me in my own work and I still don't know how. And I know I'm, I'm bigging it up a bit too much and I understand that these films maybe aren't for everyone but I'm sure a lot of you out there can relate to me when I say bro these films they're something else. I've tried to understand how Miyazaki and Ghibli and all the people working on the team capture this feeling time and time again and while I've got my theories I feel I've only just begun to scratch the surface of understanding how they do it and what that feeling even is. These films manage to create a sense of realism within the surreal, pausing to allow us to take it in. In a film about a young girl transported to a magical land with spirits and, you know, all sorts of random shit everywhere, we find ourselves at peace among the chaos as we stop everything for a simple train ride. Or in a film about giant fluffy creatures in the woods, we stop for a moment on a rainy night as we wait at the bus stop. These moments allow for the real to bleed into the surreal, and for a brief instance, we believe the fantasy as we relate to the mundane moments. You see, the way I see it, Ghibli films reflect our wishes. The childhood wish to discover something magical hidden within the woods. The wish to leave the ordinary and explore the extraordinary. The wish to relive one's childhood, recapture that wonder, and just for a little while indulge into your own nostalgia. But in saying all that, I feel I still haven't managed to fully describe that feeling of Studio Ghibli movies. And so, I use this little video to announce a new series coming to this channel, True Guys Summer of Ghibli. Where this summer, I will be venturing through the Ghibli catalogue and just having fun I guess, I don't really know. <laughs> enjoying nature, enjoying art, doing some painting and enjoying that feeling of Studio Ghibli. So yeah. If you're interested, go watch episode 1 because it's out right now and stick around because I got some big plans for the future. Anyway, subscribe if you want, you don't have to, and I'll see you in the other vid which is on screen right now. Okay, bye.